Good afternoon. <clears throat> I'm Muriel Bowser. I'm the mayor of Washington, D.C. I am here at the headquarters of D.C.'s Metropolitan Police Department, uh, where we are operating our emergency command center. I'm joined by the district's chief of police, Robert Conti. I'm joined by members of my public safety team. I'm also joined by the secretary of the Army, Mr. McCartney. Uh, this afternoon, I announced a citywide curfew for the District of Columbia beginning at 6 p.m. this evening, going until 6 a.m. tomorrow morning. During the curfew, no one is allowed to be outside in public places other than essential workers, which includes credentialed media engaging in essential functions. As you can see from uh, video images, the unlawful behavior inside the United States Capitol building. I continue to urge all Washingtonians to stay home and stay calm. And if you see something, say something. But above all, stay home. The behavior that we are witnessing is shameful, unpatriotic, and above all, it is unlawful. Anyone who has engaged in these activities, continues to engage in these activities, will be held accountable. There will be law and order, and this behavior will not be tolerated. The Metropolitan Police Department has been deployed uh, to assist the United States Capitol Police in, a in restoring order to the Capitol, and our Chief of Police will lead the command to clear the Capitol building and establish a perimeter around the Capitol. I have requested both the Virginia State Police and the Maryland State Police to deploy officers, and they they have engaged immediately to deploy officers to the Metropolitan De Police Department to help regain control of the United States Capitol. I have also invoked several days ago uh, a standing mutual aid agreement with the, our surrounding jurisdictions, and I want to thank them for deploying. Um, those jurisdictions include Arlington County, Montgomery County, Prince George's County, uh, as well as Baltimore City. Uh, we want to uh, thank them for sending their officers in assisting us with public safety in the district as well as the response to United States Capitol building. Additionally, I want to acknowledge and thank uh, the New Jersey State Police uh, who will also be assisting the Metropolitan Police Department. Uh, so with that, I want to turn to Chief Conti for a situational update. Uh, Secretary of the Army uh, will make comments uh, and we will take brief questions. Thank you, Mayor. Good afternoon, and thank you, Mayor Bowser. My name is Robert J. Conti III. I am the Chief of the Police of the Metropolitan Police Department here in Washington, D.C. As you are aware, demonstrators came to our city this morning to exercise their First Amendment rights and were largely concentrated in the area of the National Mall. Following the President's remarks, a large crowd began to march eastbound on Madison Avenue Northwest and Constitution Avenue Northwest. As the demonstrators approached the United States Capitol grounds, there was a noticeable change in their demeanor. They breached the fencing along the U.S. Capitol grounds and confronted police lines surrounding the building. MPD was requested by the United States, by the United States Capitol Police to provide assistance with crowd management and due to the violent behavior towards the police officers there and their intent on gaining access to the, to the Capitol, a riot was declared. It was clear that the crowd was intent on causing harm to our officers by deploying chemical irritants on police to force entry into the United States Capitol building. As you are aware, they were able to gain access to the Capitol building, and I conf can confirm that one civilian was reported to have sustained a gunshot wound inside of the Capitol. Details of the shooting are not immediately available, and the situation remains under investigation. The Metropolitan Police Department will be taking the lead on that investigation. MPD continues to provide personnel resources and assistance on the grounds of the U.S. Capitol and has requested the assistance of law enforcement partners through a previously in place mutual aid agreement. As you heard from the mayor, a 6 p.m. curfew has been put in place tonight and will be in effect until 6 a.m. tomorrow, January 7th. We are advising everyone, everyone that is not engaged in essential activity to get off the streets and adhere to the curfew.
If you are found to be in violation of the curfew, police will be required to take action. Again, I want to reiterate and make it clear, please abide by the curfew that the mayor has set in place or people will be subject to arrest. Lastly, I know that many of you are familiar with the Metropolitan Police Department. Understand that there is no better agency in the country to handle First Amendment events. They happen on a regular basis here in our city. However, today's events were not representation of peaceful protests. Today, what we witnessed was unlawful, riotous behavior. And people that come to our city engaged in unlawful behavior will be held accountable. We can take any questions after, that you may have after the secretary has a chance to speak. Thank you, Mayor Bowser, Chief Conti. Uh, at around 3 o'clock this afternoon, we mobilized the D.C. National Guard to 100 percent strength. We'll have 1,100 personnel that are convening to the armory as we speak to support Metro PD in reestablishing uh, the safety uh, and the confines of the U.S. Capitol. Uh, we will also be working with other federal law enforcement entities that are going to be coming here to the Metropolitan Police Station to add additional support and capability as they uh, continue deliberate planning and looking at how a clearing operation will be conducted. Thank you. And how does this work? This phone? Okay. Okay. Evan? Yeah, hi, hi Mayor and, and Chief Conti. Uh, could you please speak to the confusion surrounding the deployment of the National Guard? We understand that the council put out a statement saying that originally the Department of Defense refused to allow the D.C. Guard to reinforce Capitol Police officers at the Capitol. Can you clarify what happened there? I'm not sure what statement you're referring to, Evan, but, but let me be clear. Uh, I requested um, guard assistance, I guess, uh, two or three days ago in, um, in supporting the D.C. government's operations, the Metropolitan Police Department traffic box, um, and that request uh, was approved by the Secretary of the Army. Uh, additionally, as I understand, and I'll turn to the Secretary to speak to this directly, uh, the United States Capitol Police Department uh, requested additional guard support uh, today. So let me go to the, to the Secretary. Hi, this is Ryan McCarthy. Uh, when we were working through the additional requests, there was, I'm uh, oh, sorry, I'm confused by that. The, uh, there was additional requests that came forward from the Capitol Police. And for us to truly understand the specifics behind their requests and how we would support the operations, a lot of questions were asked, a little bit of confusion. But uh, as we worked through it, uh, we ultimately made the determination about a half hour later to mobilize the entire D.C. National Guard. So uh, this has been incredibly fluid. But uh, I, I have to go through the Secretary of Defense to ultimately get the final approval to mobilize uh, personnel as well as to conduct operations uh, in, in cooperation and coordination with uh, local authorities. Uh, Allie, WAMU. Allie, WAMU. One more time. Allie, WAMU. The citywide curfew, Mayor, that can't apply to federal property, correct? Um, the, the curfew applies uh, across the city, and we will, if, if your question is, are people who are on the Capitol ground subject to the curfew, um, they're going to be subject to, to following the lawful orders of a police on the grounds, uh, and they will be ordered to evacuate the Capitol grounds. Next question. By who? By the police. Nick from the AP. Nick? Hi, Mayor. Maybe uh, you or Chief Conti can, can address this, but um, is MPD planning to enter the Capitol itself? Obviously, we, we've seen the FBI in there at this point. Um, and can someone give us an update on whether any MPD officers uh, have been injured? Um, we, we won't discuss the specifics of the deployment, um, but I will say that the, the MPD and all of the law enforcement partners who will be active uh, will clear the Capitol uh, and establish a perimeter in, a, in order to do that. And what was your second question? Chief. Yeah, we have uh, we, we have reports about there, that there are several uh, MPD officers that are that are injured, uh, but these officers are being uh, 
uh, tended to and still engaged in the fight uh, to regain control of the Capitol. Although they are injured, uh, they are still working, and they're working very hard to regain control of the Capitol. Bennett. Bennett. One more time, Aaron. Bennett. Hi, can you hear me now? I can. Yes. Uh, what was MPD's role originally supposed to be inside the U.S. Capitol, and at what point did uh, you offer additional uh, assistance? And then for the woman who was shot inside the Capitol, was it a Capitol police officer who shot her, and is she still alive? Uh, let me, your, can you repeat the first part of your question, Fennett? Right. What was MPD's role originally supposed to be in uh, policing the uh, situation at the Capitol? Because the common question we've been getting is why didn't we see more GC police uh, around there? Okay, sure. Let me have the chief respond. Sure. Uh, MPD's role, uh, we did not have a role uh, specifically inside uh, of the Capitol. Uh, the Capitol Police uh, has a police department, that they, and they were responsible for the deployment of resources around uh, the Capitol. Uh, we were responsible for uh, all things uh, in Washington, D.C., to include our communities and areas uh, outside of here. We have been assisting United States Park Police as well as United States Capitol Police, and our role inside uh, was, was uh, escalated once the request was made by U.S. Capitol Police for MPD to enter onto Park Police territory to assist uh, them with helping to get control of the Capitol. When was that request made? Uh, several uh, several hours ago, and at, at, it was at the point where protesters uh, began to breach the the part the line. Okay, thank you. Uh, Bennett, can you repeat the second part of your question? Sure. Uh, the the chief said that uh, incident is uh, under investigation, and we don't have anything else to uh, provide at this time. Uh, Sam Ford. Sam Ford. Sam. Yes, Mayor. Um, question for the chief. You talked about riotous. He talked about riotous behavior. Was that limited to the Capitol, or are there other areas where he's uh, talking about this? And then uh, the suburban uh, departments. Are they exactly what role are they going to play in this? So the riotous behavior. The only riotous behavior that we have encountered is at the Capitol. Uh, inside of the Capitol. Obviously, the, the, when the demonstrators uh, turned rioters, uh, entered the Capitol, crossed the police line, they've assaulted a number of police officers uh, with, with all kinds of uh, uh, projectiles, et cetera. Uh, that's when the, uh, when, when the Metropolitan Police Department uh, later on was called to assist. With respect to the outside jurisdictions, uh, the outside jurisdiction role, uh, they will be under my command, under my authority, and they will be deployed uh, to assist us with the clearing operation that, that we're working on right now. Well, Sam, uh, we have a curfew at 6 p.m. We expect everybody to follow it. Uh, we, uh, the Metro uh, will be available. A lot of people go to Metro, and the Metro will close at 8 p.m. So they should be making their way to uh, leave right now. that have been recovered. Uh, we were looking uh, just, above, uh, just above 13 arrests. Uh, I should add uh, a very important note here that none of the arrests that occurred were of D.C. residents. 
All of the individuals who were arrested uh, were from out of, out of the area, uh, the most immediate area. We had three people that were from Maryland, but the majority of the arrests were from people outside of the, of the District of Columbia. A number of firearms have been recovered by the Metropolitan Police Department's gun recovery unit uh, to include uh, long guns uh, have been recovered as well as handguns. Okay, last question, Martin, WAMU. Hey, Mayor, thanks for taking the, the question. I got two quick ones. How would the situation with your request for additional National Guard assistance have changed if you had actual authority over the Guard? Because as we know, you have to put the request in through the federal government. It's not like you request it directly. And then last question for Chief Conti. When you guys are going to go through the Capitol clearing and you find protesters, is the idea that you arrest them and charge them with something, or are you just going to take them outside and let them on their way? What's the plan for actually finding people in the Capitol? Again, Martin, um, I don't think that we're prepared to talk about specifics about deployment and strategy uh, at this stage. What we just need to make sure that everybody knows is that they need to clear the Capitol grounds. They need to remove themselves back to wherever they're staying or back to their home states uh, and let the police uh, do their jobs. Uh, on the question of uh, the control of the National Guard. I, I think you uh, know very well that every governor in America uh, has control of its guard uh, in the district uh, is, is different in that we make a request to the Secretary of the Army. Over the many months, uh, the Secretary and the Army and I know uh, how to uh, communicate so that we can have that request approved uh, just as soon as possible. Thank you, everybody.